Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2, a new game out, a turn-based strategy game, uh, looking at World War II. It's new and it's out by 2x2 two two Games. Uh, this is the second part of our look at the drive across Antwerp. It's actually part number 15 in our Let's Play series as we play through this game's campaign. We are playing as the Allies. That's the side you play the campaign from. We are uh, following up our breakout of, uh, f of the Normandy uh, beachheads uh, and driving across France on Antwerp. We fought some initial bloody battles with the German armor along some key rivers just around the Laharve region as our force turns east. Uh, although we have yet to completely destroy the German force, there's still quite a few armored units uh, positioned along our flank. And uh, that's the situation that we find ourselves in. This was taken from a live stream from a channel from probably a week or two ago now. Uh, but I'll step back, uh, turn it back over to the live stream, and I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your thoughts, and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Move these guys onto a rail line. So we should be back in supply next turn on the left. The one exception is the guys who just got across that bridge, that armored there. That got across the bridge at La Harve. But they'll just be one turn out of supply, so that's probably okay. Meanwhile, we could move our, air, our airborne troops toward Mons, which will help us secure vital bridges up near there. So we could deploy these guys, like, here. And then the reason you do that... Well, actually, that was dumb, I guess, because we're... Can I undo? I can't undo. I should have dropped him on the damn bridge, not in the town. That was a mistake. Okay, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what the Germans do with this armored fist over here on the flank. Whoa, they just cut my supply line. That mechanized troop that I thought we had basically shattered just cut in behind us. I mean, here's the thing. Good job, Germans, but it's also suicidal. It's like, AI, okay, you're making the advance difficult, but you're also assuring your own destruction. Because just like that, this short-lived German offensive is doomed. I don't know. Seems a little bit silly for the AI to be doing something like that. Meanwhile, the Germans surprisingly did not actually blow the bridge at Mons, so my airborne troops there didn't really accomplish much. Other than our tanks are going to continue driving up this railway. They'll be in supply, and they're now threatening Brussels directly. Okay, so both these guys should be in supply. These guys over toward Namur. I'm going to hope and pray that the Germans don't have much that can threaten our flank, like over here. Doesn't look like they do. I mean, we are massively overextended here. Meanwhile, I just took the enemy in their drive to cut our supply, left their own, own rear a little bit exposed. Okay, so we took out all their support. Which means our armor can come across the river here, overrun and destroy them. Okay, what's the supply? All right, these guys are actually gonna be in supply over here. Meanwhile, this town actually has very little value to me. I took the depot, which was important because it, it kept us in supply. But I'd rather... Well... Maybe we'll, we'll see what we can do there. That town really is not important. I guess what I'm trying to say. Okay... All right, so. Hmm. 
We'll advance this infantry up the rail line and we'll have this level one infantry kind of shield the depot. Meanwhile, our troops to the left here are back in supply for the most part. There's one British unit that isn't. The Germans are completely out of supply. All, they're completely suppressed as well. Okay. La Harve is where if we still had uh, naval gunfire support, that would be useful. Any bridges we have to repair? No? What about for the Americans? No, we probably need to move the American uh, headquarters. So move it up there along that rail line. Actually, let's undo that. That's not far enough. Move it up toward this crossroads, I guess, or this bridge. Actually, we'll try and move it up to Mons. I think Mons will be the new headquarters. Some of the American units are going to be out of uh, out of touch. Meanwhile, this one new depot. There's no need for it yet, but we will need it very shortly. Should advance these guys up the railway. All right. So that'll bring these guys back into supply, but we'll make sure and move them along the railway because they, they'll die if they don't get supply very next turn. Faint over here. That'll take away some of their support. Go ahead and attack. Pull these guys back. Actually, we'll move these across the river this way. Move this infantry forward here. And attack near Reims. Drive them back. Nice. HQ reserves to that unit. And I think we're about ready. We do need to do some bombardments. So let's go ahead and knock at... I don't think you can bomb supply depots. You can't. So let's knock at the only German armor we see. And we destroyed them. We destroyed them for good. Say goodbye to the German armor. All right, so we just destroyed that German armored unit. And uh, I think we're about ready. So we'll see if we can take the supply depot at Lille while we have our very thin armored columns advancing from Mons toward Brussels. We'll try and bring additional reinforcements up. We've got time to get the other troops forward. So that's, that's the good news. Oh, I didn't deploy some of the troops we had. Damn. And the Germans are going to cut our rail line again. Those pesky German panzers just cutting supply every which way. This time, that may be a bigger problem. Let's try and use our air. Alright, this armor can come up overrun them and immediately re link our troops back up. Meanwhile, these airborne can actually get into Lille and that'll actually give them supply. They'll then attack these German infantry here back this a ways. So we don't see supply for these units, but but it's there. Okay, so we're advancing toward Namur or toward sorry, toward Liege. The Germans have two infantry units near Liege, one near Luxembourg. 
And then they've got a defensive line out front at, at uh, Brussels, as well as troops at Antwerp. We need to clear the Scheldt by turn 9. That's not going to happen. All right. Okay, any bridges we need to repair? Nope. We're at least keeping the bridges on, on line. Nice. All right, so we just drove up there, linked from Amains to Lil. Lil. All these infantry will advance. We're going to need to bring our British headquarters forward. Oh, shit. Where can they retreat to? Why is our supply over that way? I don't quite understand that. Okay. So it's interesting with the taking of Amin, we've kind of cut off this entire pocket of German troops, with the exception of the boys who are at uh, La Harve. They're going to be out of supply next turn. This river is such a huge obstacle to us right now. I wish I could like load them up on trains or something and send them to far off distant lands. Meanwhile, we have some new troops coming on the map. British infantry. All right, so let's place a new depot here. I don't think there's any way for the Germans to get at it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, with that depot there. Where's our other depot? There's probably no reason for that one. So we'll send that away. Uh, Canadian is going to move their headquarters a little bit further forward. So let's move these guys here. We'll still have most of the troops in supply or in in headquarters you know all the british headquarters will also move that way that gets the bulk of the british troops back in the supply there's still troops up near i mean that are out of supply and so we'll have two armored units out of supply but we're in the German rear of the bulk of their troops, so we should be okay there. We're also trying to drive up toward the various objectives. This infantry should be back. Actually, I want to put a depot a little bit. What about... Alright, so if we put a depot up near Mons, can the Germans get at it? I don't think they have any troops in this pocket. So I'm going to risk a depot at Mons. Because Mons seems like a really good location for a depot. Very central. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to have units swap locations, by the way. Alright, so I'll move forward here to the next... Turn. We'll see what the Germans have in store for us. They're blowing. The only thing they did was blow one of the bridges 
on one of the rivers along the coast. So that's actually... Oh boy, these guys gotta fall back. Is Dieppe one of the cities we wanna take? It's not. All right, first thing, let's go ahead and bombard these guys. Can we do a fixed... They're in a fort, right? Alright, so those troops will at least be in supply. Meanwhile, these troops also linked up. So, new rail line down here. So that's good. That'll bring in a bunch of our troops over here that are out of supply. It'll bring them back into supply. Meanwhile... There's really no reason for them to attack there. I feel like I've already... Probably. I don't I don't know if I've already lost, but it kind of feels like I've made some I'm not pushing hard enough in the right places. I don't think. Alright, so we'll advance these guys up toward Ghent. We're gonna go ahead and expand this depot here. Okay, need to take those prisoners. Very good. Okay. Meanwhile, we're gonna keep advancing with our armor. Promise I don't have infantry. The infantry is what I need to finish off some of these guys. I think anyway. I suppose we can. What's what do we take first? Antwerp. You're supposed to take by turn seven. That's not going to happen. But obviously the priority is to take Antwerp first. Probably should have done that first, huh? In any event. We've uh, turned the position at Brussels and we'll be advancing on Antwerp directly in the next turn. These guys will be back in supply. Great. These guys should all be in supply. So we've got various pockets of surrounded German troops. I think we probably should have hit Lahar with air first. All right. I don't like those kind of trades, but I'll take it if it's what I have to do. Meanwhile, we probably should be repairing some bridges. So let's move this Canadian headquarters over here. Well, maybe not. Can they repair anything? What about the American headquarters? Well, the problem is there's no headquarters that can repair those bridges because there's no headquarters far enough forward that has coverage over those bridges. I think that's the issue. So really, I'd like to move the Canadians closer to... I mean, but that's going to bring a bunch of our other troops out of out of touch. Now the Canadians are the ones all around the Harve, so we can probably, but I can't move. Well, 
this isn't... I can move the British headquarters. Closer to bombs. I don't think anybody's out of out of touch over there. Do I need to take those pockets with nothing in them? No, I don't. I'm not trying to, by the way. There is one that has prisoners that you get points for taking, but I am trying to push with reason. I just want to make sure there's no, you know, I guess we can make sure. Looks like there's no reason to do recon over there. I'm just trying to make sure that there's no surprises waiting for us, honestly. Again, these German troops over near Liege could counterattack into the into the rear of this armor. We'll have to see. We've got a lot of armor coming up. The problem is armor's not good against fixed fortifications. I don't have infantry coming up. We do have these two infantry units here. They're going to take three or four turns just to get to Antwerp, though. So we'll see. They fell back. A couple of minor German troop movements, but seems like the fight is largely out of these, these Germans here. There's a lot of... Uh, dun, 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 dun. All right, so we overrun the troops at Rouen. Got our other troops back into supply. So we just disbanded a German headquarters. I don't know what impact, if any, that has. And we took some German uh, supplies. Go ahead and drive that way. All right, so Dieppe will probably fall next turn by default. Those German troops won't have any supplies. These troops from across the river are going to bombard. La Harve is a city in ruins. I would love to do a fixed attack. But I can't. Alright, that doesn't really matter. Um, let's keep moving these troops up. I think they could cover more ground over railways than, than this. Alright, British. Headquarters, go ahead and repair these bridges. up that narrow roadway. Likewise for those troops. Infantry advancing toward Ghent. These guys can attack the Pota too. So we're going to drive on the Scheldt, which I think we had to clear... No, by turn 9, actually. So theoretically, although I don't know how well my supplies are going to carry over here. These Germans might actually counterattack there, though. Okay. So we'll advance this armor toward Liege. So 
there's supply there. I'm trying to advance on Luxembourg as well. So that's kind of what this infantry over here is doing, is slowly advancing on Luxembourg. Okay, I think that's most of our troops. I think the one thing we can hit effectively with air is probably these troops here in the Scheldt. That did nothing. They weren't dug in or anything. Um, is there going to be supply for these guys if I drive them up over the road? Yeah, I guess. All right, I'm trying to flank. This armor is protecting the railway back toward Namur. This army is going to go up over around the flank of Antwerp. We'll see. I think everybody else has moved. So we'll keep going. Oh, sorry, Kushin. I know I missed you by a bit, but night. That infantry just interestingly moved out. Didn't cut our supply, though. It didn't actually hurt us in any way. So the question is, the Scheldt is turn nine. Clear the Scheldt. We've got to get troops up that way. Are there troops here? So no. I mean, I'd love, the problem is the troops in Antwerp are also dug in. That doesn't help. So these troops are gonna be out of supply. Let's bombard the southern approach. Hey, we did 1k there at least. These guys get out of two. That was a very effective attack, by the way. So that armor will move into the southern suburbs of Antwerp. Meanwhile, these guys can attack this infantry over here at the head toward the Scheldt. I think we can go ahead and... Well, actually, these guys are going to be in supply. Yeah, they will. They should. So, let's go ahead and bombard the import itself. Alright. Meanwhile, we've got troops coming up this way. supply down there on the flank. Let's also... Alright, so those guys are dead. Okay. Alright, so I've kind of broken out here on the left, too. Some of my units next turn are probably going to have to pull back because they're going to be out of supply. That's fine. Um, continue bombarding those troops. I would love a fixed attack, but I don't get that. Okay, 
Oh boy. Don't you love that big explosion sound? It's like, your men are dying. I do want to take Lahar. And these troops aren't going to get far enough east to matter. Alright. Meanwhile, this depot... should go away. Because everybody in this area who needs it is on the rail line. So we'll get rid of that. That'll allow us to better supply troops at the front. Meanwhile, we're going to move this British headquarters here to Amin. That'll get all the advancing troops for the most part back into headquarters. Move these guys to Moms. No, not far enough forward. We'll move them to Brussels, I think. We definitely have troops that are... Nope, that won't help either. So we'll move them to whatever this town is. That'll get everybody back into supply at the front line. There are American troops back here in the rear that are out of supply. Okay. Tortuga, I'm doing uh, Rule the Waves every other day. So we'll get more Rule the Waves tomorrow. All right, so that's going to do that turn. German headquarters advance there. Meanwhile, they're pulling supplies out of Antwerp, interestingly enough. This is the turn we have to clear the Scheldt, which we're not going to do, but... Nice, that armor can attack, and they breached. And they drove the enemy back. Huzzah! Can they get there? No, they're not going to get to the Scheldt. But we took Antwerp, which is an improvement. God damn it, we're going to be one heck short of the secondary objective. Alright, we'll take those prisoners. If we could have cleared the shelf, we would have made Market Garden less likely to occur. Would have saved tens of thousands of lives. But nope. Didn't happen. Wasn't to be. Meanwhile, we're moving on Aachen now. So we're going to go ahead and build that supply depot over here. A little bit bigger, I think. Yep. Alright, so let's attack... There's German troops dug in on the coast here. That's fine. I don't really care. Let's go ahead and do more bombardments of these guys to no effect. So, we may not have taken Laharv this turn, but it should fall next turn, which will be a secondary objective achieved. It's supposed to fall by turn 11. Turn t uh, turn 10 looks like, looks like when it might fall. Meanwhile, British HQ should probably move to Lille. Okay, 
these guys are they in supply? They are theoretically. Um They're not going to be in supply there. But I can actually bring an armored unit down here to clear the railway in the rear. And then we can drive them on Luxembourg. So this is going to be close. We've got one of the objectives. We still have more to do. But we might have a chance. Aachen won't fall by turn 10, that's for sure. Uh, enemy still has a deployable HQ. Let's also race these guys south. I want to get that armor over there if I can. Toward Luxembourg. Canadian HQ will at least move closer to the front. We'll move the out. Meanwhile, we'll be able to disband this headquarter, this supply depot down here near La Harve as soon as uh, the city falls. We'll go ahead and move to turn number 10. Yes, Newhauser, this is a redo. We did fail in our attempt last time. Those surrounded German troops near uh, Liege managed to escape. So we just destroyed those troops in front of Liege. All that armor is going to link these troops up as they drive south toward Luxembourg. I think that was a very smart decision. armor will move over here. Those guys pulled back so they can refit. No avail. All right, so Lahar finally falls. The one secondary objective we're going to accomplish. You know, we're going to move all of these troops along the railway. Because that's the one place they're going to have supply when we withdraw that supply depot. What's supply going to look like here? I really don't care, though. Like, I don't care about Calais or Boulogne or whatever. I just don't. Let's undo that. They need to have supply. How are these guys out of supply? Oh, that bridge is, uh, is blown. Those troops are going to remain there. The U.S. headquarters is going to move to the front because apparently some of its own troops are out of supply, so we'll move them forward to Namur. That should get everybody back into supply. British 2nd also has some troops in the vicinity, so we'll move them near Namur as well. I guess we'll move them to Brussels. Actually, no, that's not good enough. Let's move them to the Namur region, I guess. These troops are all going to be in supply. We've got the railway working as we drive on Luxembourg. What's at Luxembourg, by the way? Just a lone enemy infantry unit, so that should be doable for the force that we're dispatching that way. All right, we won't take Aachen in time either. That's kind of unfortunate. That would have been the one that I would have cared the most about accomplishing. 
mainly because it, it speaks to the ability to drive on your other targets more quickly in future engagements, but theoretically anyway. I'm not sure it really matters. I don't know if it affects supply. It does affect other things, though, like the ability to get artillery support and other things like that. Okay, so the Germans are reinforcing their channel port at Boulogne. Really don't care. We failed at Aachen. Alright, we're going to launch a fixed assault. You can see that assault. We took heavy casualties, but the enemy is no longer entrenched. Good for us. Now we can go ahead and bombard the city. We completely removed all of their support. Or not their support, but their, uh, what do you call it? Whatever, they're disorganized. And then we drove them out and we destroyed them. That is the way you do attacks, folks. All right, that worked. Now we're going to drive south on Luxembourg. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to put a depot over here to support our drive. We'll put a depot in Liege. Should be right on the rail line, too. It is. Our infantry will move up on Luxembourg. Who would have not who would have thought all you needed for a little bit of a uh, of victory was a set piece attack. I don't actually know if the Americans have that skill which might make Luxembourg substantially more challenging. Fortunately just a lone enemy unit there. Okay. So I guess we'll attack just because there's the chance at taking the city, getting some more prisoners. These guys will stay in Antwerp. Okay. These guys can't bombard because I moved their headquarters. All right, so we did breach. In theory, that should be good. I can't move my troops anywhere else. So I'm not gonna take that objective by its date either. You know what would have been interesting is if we had left open a uh, retreat route rather than surrounding the port if we had actually given them one hex to retreat into if they would have done that. Honestly a lot of these troops down here don't matter all that much. Just in case we can get there in time, we're bringing all these other troops up and continuing to move them. I think we're going to want to pull some supplies out of this depot, though. So we can expand the depot adjacent to Luxembourg. We'll have two turns to take the city. I'm taking Dunkirk before it was in history. That's good, right? I mean, it's going to be in... Well, I'm not taking Dunkirk, but I'm taking a city adjacent to it. So technically, I haven't taken Dunkirk yet. Bunch of objectives failed. Whatever, dude. All right, we couldn't set piece attack. All we could do was... All right, so these guys can attack two to nothing, three to nothing. Uh, 
free. And Luxembourg is ours! We have accomplished all the major objectives and one of the secondary objectives. So victory there for us. No, just don't lose the objectives. No German counterattack coming, right? We did also clear the Scheldt, although not in time. I see no reason to do any more attacks, so we'll go ahead and end the turn, and I think that'll end the battle. Victory, victory, do my little victory dance. Objectives completed. End scenario. So we killed 32 enemy units, we took 37 prisoners, a 174 campaign score, plus 10% supply. I'm guessing that's a bonus for the campaign score um, due to taking Laharve. So that should help. Maybe it helps in future operations. Looks like the next operation in northern uh, Holland was going to be Operation Market Garden. But before we get there, we have to fight the race across France. Uh, that is taking place in the middle of August of 1944. Um, just before uh, the uh, Operation Market Garden, this is the drive to the Rhine, Patton's Third Army, racing for the German border. Fresh from its victories in the French Riviera, the U.S. Seventh Army is hounding the remains of the German forces from the ca that campaign. German High Command is acutely aware of the dire situation of its forces in this area. As such, it's dispatching whatever it can to scrape together to try and save the situation. Meanwhile, I love how we've got this little bit of a red tide rolling in here from the east, moving deep uh, in toward Poland and threatening Germany as we attempt to drive in from the east. Uh, we didn't recover all the prestige we spent on our troops to prepare for that last battle, uh, but perhaps we can, uh, you know, I probably overdid it on some of the support for some of those infantry units, give them an artillery, and then those units spent half the time along the coast in the rear. But um, in any event... But in any event, a victory is what I delivered, and a victory is what you have. We have won the battle uh, for the drive on Antwerp. We have taken several of the key cities along the German border in Luxembourg and Liege uh, and at Antwerp, and we are now prepared for the drive into the heart of France itself toward the Rhine, uh, which would then be followed up by Operation Market Garden. But those will be episodes for another time. Those will be battles for another episode. Uh, for this episode, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. And uh, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying, until next time, I'm out.